Hello everyone, this is Anna, aka The Nail Architect. Here I am again, showing you stuff that I bought. Basically, this is part two of the previous video that I've just recorded. Without further ado, let's just dive into it, shall we? Okay, from my favorite place, I got this. Let me zoom out. These two picture frames. They are 20 by 25 centimeters. I'll show you an example of what I, my plan is. Just a cool way of displaying your stuff. And I got these two in grey because, well, they didn't have pink. So the next one from AliExpress. Oh, okay. So I've ordered these because I am planning on using a lot of poly gel and uh, this will help me with the smile lines. Uh, I got this one here. I think these two came together. I'm not, well, because the one that I wanted was this one. I may have added this one as well at the time, but this is the one that I wanted. So the next one, some foil. So it comes with gold, copper, and silver. I've seen so many videos where people just use like little pieces of foil to add to a nail design and it looks so, so beautiful. And the, the reason why I got this one specifically, it's because you can kind of tear it down to like the smallest pieces you would like to. Unlike the, unlike the other ones that I have, which you probably would have to be very specific or where you want to place them. So that's why I got this one. I am in love with anything nail art related. I am just so in awe with the videos. With, I get inspired every day. So I want to try to replicate these things and give my own twist, but I always get inspired by someone else. I'm so excited to try this one. The next thing... Chrome powders. Um, again, like the foil, I just saw a lot of videos of people putting this on the nail and it looks amazing. So I decided to go with silver and this is a gold, which I think is staples that you should have. So yeah, these are also another thing that I want to give a try. Uh, maybe in an upcoming video or whenever I'm practicing. Uh, next, I got these cuticle beads to do some Russian manicure. So these two are in fine and this is in medium. They look really good. Well, let me just open so you can see. Like, they look pretty, pretty good. Can you see that? I'm impressed with this. Just by looking. I have a small bead which I normally use to doing my prep, but these ones are like slightly bigger as a beginner. Russian manicure, I think, is the way to go. Next up is, oh my god, <laughs> this. Okay, if you've watched my updated nail room, I would have mentioned that I was waiting for an order that I had placed for 240 grid sanding bands, and only now I got them. And I think I placed that order back in May. Wow, so yes. So this is the order that I was waiting for. And, and to be honest, although I kind of lost hope, I like the fact that it came in a box. It makes me forget that how long I waited for it. <laughs> I'm just grateful that I, I still got it. These ones are very fine and uh, you can use them on the natural nail to do some prep work. I think I'm gonna keep this box. This is very practical. On, on the subject of cuticle bits. I got this one here it's with a set of 10. These type of brushes are really helpful. You can spray them with a little bit of alcohol or prep. Really good to clean up under the nails. I got this set but this is what I was excited for. Just a little brush. Next parcel. I'm always using orange sticks. Um, I use them to clean up the cuticle. I use them to when I'm doing some nail art. Honestly this is a, a multi-purpose tool for me and it's disposable so I don't have to worry about anything. I got this from AliExpress as well. I think they came with 50. Normally I get them from eBay but 
To be honest, I wasn't in such an urgency or I was running low. I just really wanted to make sure I still have a lot. The world is still crazy, and so I just got a few more. They were very cheap, of course. They didn't take very long to come. I think they only took like a two weeks. Not too bad for AliExpress. And I think they sent some goodies. I'm always very appreciative of when someone gives me something, so thank you to the seller. Okay, so the next thing. Ooh. Okay nail transfer foils you know the funny thing i've seen a lot of videos with people using transfer foils like gorgeous gorgeous transfer foils but i was really intrigued by the ones that have like a, a background color it needs to go like fully on the nail correct um so i'm really excited to try this because it seems like if they are good quality they will look gorgeous but if they're rubbish i mean i'm praying for the best and the fact that it came in a box makes me happy. It really does. Uh, the next thing, <laughs> it's already popping out. Okay, I did get this for my bits because as you can see, I'm already uh, collecting quite a few of them. I'm sorry for the noise. Okay, better this way. So this was a gift. It's really cool, but I don't think I don't see myself using it. You could put surgical spirit in here after you've uh, sanitized your bits and you submerge them in the liquid. Wait for like 10 to 15 minutes. You can just lift this up. The spirit will drain here and you can just take this to the tap, rinse your bits dry them down and you have your bits in a separate container my sterilizing box it's amazing i love it i'm always scared to lose my bits there or forget something and then they get rusty so with this i will be able to control better i was hoping that it was a bit smaller so i could put it in my drawer it's quite big so i guess like if you have a lot to to keep clean this this is amazing so i'll put it next to my trolley so it's easier when I'm doing nails to just disinfect my bits. It looks like something that you'd use in the kitchen. <laughs> That's my thoughts. But yeah, this is really cool. I haven't had the chance to open because it just came this morning. So I am going to open it right now. Aha, okay. So I got a couple of things. take it out of the way this double-sided tape this is for the acrylic rectangles where you can leave your nail arts for some reason the tape that i currently have it's no longer sticky i don't know what happened if i left it out i i wanted to buy a stronger one that's why i got this it's very wide but i always like cut it in half and just use a small piece anyway so this should last me for a long time and hopefully being that this um powerful grip that um, it won't happen what it happened to the other one i've seen a lot of people using this and i was wondering um, if i should get it i was always like putting on yeah i don't need it i really don't but actually i do i'm gonna try and do more and more nail art the method that i currently have is not working for me it, i don't have enough space in between the, the little stands and you always mess up the designs. My goal is just to have it spaced out so I can work on the tips with enough space in between them. Practice a lot of freehand nail art. This is amazing. I, I should have I should have gotten this one a long time ago. So it comes with a set of six black and six white. That's what I'm hoping that is. It comes with this cute that's really nice it's really pretty too i'm already in love with this the next thing was i was desperate to get this one one thing you should know about me is that i love to write okay i love uh, freehand writing but i just realized i dropped some acetone again on the paper and you can imagine the disaster i was quite pissed because i was doing some nail swatches and uh, all the work that i've done went to 
basically I just decided on that exact same moment that I would not do that again. I got this Dymo Letro Tag. It's a labeling machine. So hopefully it will be all that I need to never ever experience the amount of frustration that I have the other day. I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about. Um, I was swatching some new colors that I have and uh, all of this is handwritten, right? So imagine that this is only one of them. Mm, I think I had three. I just need to replace the ones that I did with my hand um, with my friend here and I should be fine. And uh, I'm gonna have to redo the swatches. So I'm really excited to try this baby. I'm gonna be labeling the heck out of my room now that I have it. I had a lot of fun recording this video for you guys. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up subscribe and like the video so i know you like this type of content first and foremost i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers it sounds kind of cliche but it's honestly the truth thank you for so much for considering following me being that i am a beginner i am I mean, just starting in this world of nails thank you for your time and thank you for subscribing this is a big dream for me and i am now able to make it happen and i'm so excited and scared and everything in between so thank you so much for being part of this journey and i shall see you on the next one bye bye